I, th I think scientists uh, very properly uh, have been um, shy uh, or, or cautious about scaremongering, and that's, that's absolutely right and proper. So that if anything, they have underrepresented uh, the dangers that um, uh, in the in recent weeks um, the mechanics uh, of melting glaciers has become more publicised and suddenly people realise that it's not just as whether uh, it gets warmer at the top. The complexity in which warm meltwater uh, will actually uh, flow down through holes in the, and, and, and erode the glacier from the inside of it and lubricate the, the floor of it, suddenly you begin to realise, yes, uh, glaciology is rather more complex than we thought and that we are now understanding it in more detail and realising that actually the situation is worse than we thought. Disaster. Uh, I mean it's a terrible thing to say isn't it? Um, and even disaster doesn't alter to do it. I mean goodness me, uh, there have been disasters in North America uh, with, with hurricanes and one thing or another and floods um, and yet still people will deny it and it's always got nothing to do with climate change. It visibly has got to do with climate change. For the very first time in the history of Homo sapiens uh, we are asking people of different cultures in different continents with different languages with different moral systems to agree. Well that's never happened in the history of humanity uh, and we can't uh, suppose that it's going to happen just overnight and we just have to keep at it um, and, 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 and hope that the facts will be uh, incontrovertible and be convincing in themselves. One shouldn't scaremonger. I mean, the, the, you don't need to scaremonger. The, the facts are, are alarming enough without, without scaremongering. Um, since my job is to make films about the natural world, I go to where the natural world is flourishing rather than where it's been um, badly treated. Uh, but I was in Borneo uh, last year um, and I went up a river which I've travelled on 50 years ago um, and uh, the, the, by the side of the river, the, for about 50 yards on the side, there's, there's rainforest, little gallery. But beyond it, for mile after mile after mile, is nothing but oil palm. Um, and of course it's all very well for us to say how dreadful that is, uh, but the fact is the reason there are oil palms is that there is a world hunger for oil palms, that the population, the human population has grown so, so enormously. You know, there are three times as many people on this planet as there were when I started making natural history programmes. It was a huge growth and they need to be fed and, and the people in Borneo are, are responding to that to that requirement and so knocking down the rainforest and growing oil palms. But that's a straightforward result, consequence of, of audience, uh, of population growth. The only way I can think of it, um, uh, think about it, is by g giving uh, women uh, the uh, right to control their own bodies and to con control how many children they have. Uh, and in every circumstance uh, where, where women have that right, where they have the vote, where there are proper medical facilities, where they are literate uh, and where they are given the, given the choice, um, the, the birth rate falls.